One of the things that I've enjoyed with gizmos is that the kids actually look forward to it. And that's something that I've really, I've really admired about this program because I've, you know, in my 11 years of teaching, I've seen lots of programs brought into schools that kids just hate. They do it because they have to do it. They don't want to do it. And so with gizmos, what I've, what I've enjoyed seeing about it is that they get in there, they do the work, and they want to keep working. And not only that, I hear the students come back after, you know, let's say the weekend, and they say, oh, Mr. Howe, I worked on this gizmo again at home, because they have the opportunity with gizmos to get on it at home through the internet or at the library, wherever they have the internet access. The interaction and the, the things that they can do with the gizmos. Uh, my kids ask to do gizmos. So if we go to the computer lab, they're like, can we do gizmos today? And I was like, yes, but you got to let me you know, work through it. And they just love the, the animation with gizmos, the colors, and everything that goes, that goes with it. The thing that I like about gizmos is that there are so many different programs out there that we're introduced to that, you know, sound good and they work okay, but then after you use them for a little bit, you know, it kind of, the fun wears off and, you know, the kids just aren't as excited about it anymore. Um, my kids are more excited about it now than when we first got started. They're always asking when we do math or science, are we going to see a gizmo? The best thing I like about gizmos is that in a, a day where you don't have enough hours and you, you're trying to get a lab in, you know, and you have to set up the lab and, and have all the, the equipment out there and, and all this hands-on and then you got to worry about the who's going to do what, or somebody's going to spill something and clean it up with the gizmos, it's all self-contained. You've got little, a little virtual lab sitting in front of you on the computer, and it helps save time, and it helps get, let you get more activities in, more learning. What the kids like about gizmos, well, first of all, they've, they see me enjoy it. When the kids are working on Gizmo, sometimes sometimes I'll get down and I'll start doing it too, and they'll look and say, "Well, this is what Mr. Howe's doing," kind of thing. If they see that I'm enjoying it, it's something that they want to do as well. Uh, it's something I do. I'll, I'll go home, and some of the other teachers and I have talked about how. Have you tried this Gizmo at home yet? Oh yeah, I did that one too. They get to actually manipulate. They actually get to look at the problem in a different way. Rather than seeing it, science or math as just a bunch of formulas they got to memorize and learn, they can actually see, okay, how did we get to this formula? How did we come to this, this algorithm that we use? And they can actually manipulate the different you know, figurines or the different variables that are available on gizmos to actually understand, oh, this is why it is the way it is. And if I do this for this problem, it also works. You know, and so they get to actually become the mathematicians, the scientists, and it, it helps them to be a little bit more, they can bring that into their other work as well, the work that we have in class on, on, uh, on, on worksheets or whatever it may be, or if we're just going over a concept in class, they can use those same things that they learned in Gizmos to be able to, it's like, hey, I, in Gizmos we did this, let me try and do it with this problem and we can solve it that way. You get them something different that makes them think they don't realize that they're learning, they don't realize that they're learning strategies, but they are. And that has come through in the classroom because when I ask, okay, what did you use on that? Did you multiply, divide, add or subtract? Did you, you know, what was your thinking? And they can actually explain that. You know, and I think that that's really, the strategies that Gizmo is teaching with comprehension and just hands-on being able to see things move is not something we've had before. But hearing the kids talk about how they like it and, and all those kinds of things, it's just, it, it really, it really has been different from other programs. What's great about it is it challenges them. It takes them and it says, okay, here's what you're supposed to do. Now let's go ahead and do something different with it. And there's all these different variables. They get to control it. They get to manipulate it. And then, and then the gizmo reacts to their manipulations. Another good thing about it is the fact that you can retest. You can go back through and say, I want to retest the student. And that gives them a second chance. If they didn't thoroughly understand it the first time, they have a choice. They'll come up to me and say, I didn't understand it, can I do it again? And which tells me that they're wanting to go back and make sure that they understand that SLE or teaching point that I'm trying to show them. And that, that's made a big difference. They'll even miss their recess to come and work on the computer for that. I've had students tell me that science is their favorite subject, and I know that Gizmos has had part of, is part of that reason. They actually look forward to science. It's something that they, 
oh, we get to do a gizmo today. And so it's made them want to learn more about science. Out of all of the programs that we've done, um, gizmo is fun to the kids. It's not boring. And it's, like I said, one of the only ones that I've seen where they're more excited about it now than they were at the beginning of the year. And it makes it easier for me to teach because I have something to kind of go back to a different resource for them to use that they actually enjoy. They understand now that math and science are brother and sister. They go hand in hand because, you know, the assessment questions have math in them and they have to work out the problems and things like that. So if that's one thing that I've gotten through their heads, because it used to be when we started this year, we would do science and I would put a math question. They were like, this is math. Why are we doing math with science? When they started doing gizmos and it has all the scales on there, you know, and everything that they, you know, they understand. And when I pull in a math gizmo, like fraction bars and things like that, they just, it really, I believe it, it helps them with their visualization and tactile, my tactile learners and stuff that they can move things and play with them. And, and I didn't even mention the math gizmos, they're just as incredible as the science gizmos are. Even my lowest kids have shown improvement. I've been very pleased with gizmos. It's been something that really has affected my class in a positive way. It's made them want to learn. It's made them want to be challenged, which is a great thing. So that's, that's something that's an aspect we want to see in all of our students, wanting to be challenged.